This toolkit is designed as an open source set of modules to assist people in applying systems innovation ideas and methods to the design, development, and management of circular economies. The building blocks of this toolkit are the guides and canvases. The guides explain the ideas while the canvases can be used to support members in applying these ideas to the challenges they face. But first, why do we need systems innovation approaches for developing circular economies? With the traditional analytical view, we are apt to drill down and just try to optimize the individual parts of a system, focusing all our time on improving biodegradable wrapping, an electric car, recyclable clothing materials, switching to energy-efficient light bulbs, etc. These innovations are needed, but they will only get us so far. Indeed, this analytical approach may blind us to the broader system's changes that need to take place. While we need to change the parts, we also need to change the system. Systems change involves changing the structure of the system to interrelate the parts in new, synergistic ways. Without systems thinking, we will get too caught up in all the trees and lose sight of the whole and the changes that need to come about on that level. This is the job of systems innovation, to help us innovate and change on the level of whole systems. It is a new systems-based approach to enabling change within complex organizations. It is a holistic approach that looks at the overall dynamics and systemic conditions of an issue. It combines the new way of thinking, we call systems thinking, and new, more decentralized ways of organizing. Okay. Now that we know a bit about systems innovation, let us jump into the toolkit. There are four main sections to help you with thinking, mapping, changing, and building new systems. The first section is on systems thinking. The modules in this section will help you think in systems to change the paradigm and start to see new possibilities. This is the ideation phase. We want to try and change our thinking and way of looking at the network so that we can start to see new possibilities. This requires us first to become aware of our current ways of thinking and then shift them to a more holistic view with which to see things differently and start to create new ways of innovating and organizing. The circular systems economy is a challenge of connecting and collaboration. But to get these connections and collaborations, we're going to have to first understand the materials economy and the actors involved. The next section on systems inquiry has modules to help you make a holistic inquiry by mapping out the actors, network structure, and dynamics of the system. By completing these modules, members should get a holistic view of the system, an understanding of its structure have built a shared perspective and a potential course of action for changing it. The next set of modules provides the key models of systems change, including the multi-level perspective, horizon scanning, two loops model, and systems gardening. These modules will provide us with an understanding of transition processes within complex adaptive systems. They will also help us better understand where and how we may intervene to guide these changes towards realizing the emergence of a new pattern of coordination in the system. To transform a system ultimately, we are going to have to develop some new way of organizing people, new networks, or new platforms. The job of the systems builder is to develop collaborative ecosystems that align diverse actors in new synergistic ways around a given challenge. As such, we have to develop some new space for bringing people together, creating a new network or platform for change. This will require a narrative as to what this is about and why people should join. We will need some organizational structure, some set of services, a value model, and ways to assess impact. The modules in this final section on systems building will walk you through how to develop an innovation ecosystem for a circular economy. You can download the full systems innovation toolkit for circular economies on our site, where it is available for reuse and adaptation.